For almost a decade now, Democrats have been locked in the minority in the House of Representatives. The reason why goes back to the huge Republican wave that swept the 2010 midterms. Democrats lost control of the House of Representatives, and Republicans won control of two-thirds of state legislative chambers. But what made the 2010 Republican victories so important is that they coincided with an event that happens every 10 years, the federal census. This is when the government tries to count everyone in the country, states gain or lose House seats based on the census results, and then redraw their congressional districts. Many states rely on state legislatures to do this redistricting. This means that elected politicians actually get to draw the lines that keep them in power. Oh, uh, here, just let me do it. To shore up their 2010 gains, Republicans set up a $30 million project called RedMap. RedMap worked by gerrymandering, packing, grouping voters together to concentrate and isolate them, and cracking, splitting a group of voters apart to dilute their influence. Here's how it works. This rectangle has 60 blue circles and 40 red circles, but can be divided into two blue districts and three red districts, giving the red side the advantage. Republicans used their new control over state legislatures to gerrymander on a grand scale. It worked like gangbusters. Oh in 2012, Democrats took in 1.4 million more votes than Republicans. Yet Republicans retained control of the House by a comfortable 33-seat margin. Many of the new districts were drawn to stay safely Republican, even if Democrats rode a big election wave like the one that swept Republicans into office in 2010. <laughs> To flip the House in 2018, Democrats have to win 24 seats. That's not easy, since thanks to gerrymandering, there are half as many swing districts now as there were 20 years ago. The battle lines are already drawn, and it'll be an uphill fight for congressional Democrats.